Not bad. We did a throw culture already, right? And it was negative. You think you could stay in school today? Because you don't have a fever. At the Thomas Edison Elementary School in Portchester, a nurse practitioner tests for strep, performs physicals, and prescribes medicine to students enrolled in a school-based health center, a primary care pediatric clinic located within the school. There are currently more than 200 of these centers operating in New York State. And since May 2014, the Mamaroneck School District has been studying whether a school-based health center would be appropriate in a Mamaroneck District school. Port Chester has five school-based health centers operated by Open Door, a nonprofit that has been providing health care to underserved, low-income populations in their community health centers since 1972. Don't cough in people's face. Take care of your body and yourself. Eat good food. If you have a virus or if you're sick, don't come to school because it could, it could pass to another student or your friend. Wellness education, preventative care, and acute care are provided through the school-based health centers. They serve a high-need population of students, many of whom are from low-income immigrant families. The school-based health centers are staffed by bilingual nurse practitioners. Their services are free and open to all students. There is no cost to the school district beyond utilities and custodial service. Besides well-child preventative care and sick visits, the nurse practitioners also focus on asthma management and programs to reduce obesity among the student population. Their efforts have produced measurable results with many fewer acute care visits for asthma and a dramatic decrease in missed school days. Other studies have also shown increased attendance rates for students with asthma enrolled in school-based health centers. The success of the school centers in Port Chester drew the attention of the Hispanic Resource Center in Mamaroneck, which serves a similar population of low-income immigrant families and has long been concerned about a lack of health services in the community for families without private health insurance. And so we're really talking about not having a medical home here in Mamaroneck, a place where you can access preventative care. And, and so we have urgent care centers. I believe we have two pediatric or two that serve the uh, have pediatricians on staff. It's a kind of a healthy alternative to an emergency room, but at the end of the day, it's not preventative care, right? And so you're not getting vaccines there. You're not getting well child visits. You know, you're not really necessarily, you know, th those pediatricians don't have the time to invest in nutrition, education, the way that a preventative, you know, visit, um, you know, provides. Last May, Open Door presented a proposal to the Mamaroneck Board of Education to establish a school-based health center in the Mamaroneck schools offering to provide free health services to students with no cost to the district. The proposed site for the center was Mamaroneck Avenue School, a district school with the target population for open door services, a high concentration of children in poverty. A task force of school staff and parents was convened to research the health needs of the school community and learn more about the school-based health center model. On January 20th, the task force presented their findings to the public at a school board meeting. MAS is an elementary school with needs. The highest population of low socioeconomic students in poverty, the highest population of free and reduced lunch, a high rate of absences um, when benchmarked against our other schools, and a high rate of students going to community-based health clinics for their medical care. Uh, the research shows uh, that there is financial hardship or inability uh, for families of low income to miss work, uh, single parents with no child care options, uh, location and hours of providers, uh, language and culture barriers, immigration status, lack or cost of transportation, gaps in insurance, and families may experience uh, significant wait time for their routine and uh, prevention. We looked at the data from September of this year through December, and up to this point, MAS students visited the school nurse for asthma issue 89 times. That was a lot more than any other school. Comments from school officials, task force members, and parents reveal differences of opinion about whether the school-based health center model is appropriate for Mamaroneck. Mamaroneck Avenue School does a tremendous amount to keep our kids healthy, starting with a caring principal who knows what every kid needs, a nurse who is a nurse practitioner as well, who educates from a simple scratch to more serious problems, and she just gets our kids. They're sent home only when necessary, and even though our numbers of sent home kids may be higher than the other elementary schools, it is still low. 
Uh, we don't have a community medical center here in Mamaronik that is comprehensive. There are hundreds of families that we have to go outside of the community to get care. For those without a car, it's, too, it's much harder and very expensive. A lot of the problem is getting the patients or the children to the sources, not necessarily that there aren't sources for them. It is, it is there. It is available. Um, <laughs> one of the women was saying that it's difficult with respect to um, the, the pay and, and taking a train or something like that. Um, a lot of these insurances actually offer vouchers to go to and from medical visits. One of the things that I've heard about having the school-based health center is that the parents don't have to take off time from work or leave and wait to go to, to an appointment. Well, I work full-time because I have to work full-time in order to afford to live here. And it depends on your boss and your company of whether or not it's okay for you to take time off of work and be late for work. And I spend a lot of my time going to the doctor on Saturday because I do work full time. Isn't it our duty as a school district to, because we're in the business of educating, to educate about prevention and uh, nutrition instead of bringing in a company to put nurse practitioners there so that they can overprescribe and, and over x-ray and, and just feed the system with, with profit. I know all of the health centers like Open Door in New York State, and I can tell you with absolute 100% certainty that they are not in it for the money. None of them are in it for the money. They are in it for mission to improve the health of their communities. Another concern was the recent increase of the school population at Maranick Avenue School and the potential of a health center in the school to exacerbate that growth. There was mention of 180 families marked as homeless. How many additional families are we going to be drawing in homeless with a free health clinic in the school? Some parents expressed concerns about the health center bringing sick children into the school. The last place a child who is sick should be in is school. Having three kids in school, I am against health care within the school setting for this reason. I do not want my kids around other sick kids. Children who are sick should see a health care professional in a medical setting. Schools should remain a place of learning and not a health care facility. News that Open Door was in negotiations to lease a site for a future community clinic right near the school raised more questions about the need for a school center. If we're going to have a facility two minutes from MAS, that's the best news we could ask for. It's going to treat the whole family. I think a community clinic would be wonderful. I'm not convinced it will happen in the near future, if at all. A community clinic addresses some of the barriers to health care, but not all of them. I was very impressed, as I think we all were who were there, um, with the, the student-based health center in Port Chester, and I could see how it could provide benefits to students beyond what a community clinic could offer. Um, particularly with regard to chronic health conditions like asthma. This is causing a huge divide in our school and it's not something that people want because we always work hard to come together for anything. But I have to say that if this clinic comes into Mamaroneck Avenue School, my children would no longer attend the school. We're going to ask more questions, get more information and report back to the community. While the ultimate decision whether to move forward rests with the school board, some Maranek Avenue school parents are organizing in opposition. I don't think anyone was ready for the backlash. We think it's a no-brainer. It's something that's good for the entire population in that school or the district, however they wish they want to shape this program. Uh, we did not think that there would be so much opposition to something that in our eyes was just obviously great for everyone. Uh, I, I think... Um, you know, unfortunately, a lot of the folks that would benefit from this are really intimidated by the few that are being really vocal against it. MAS parent Clorinda feels it's important to join the conversation in support of this program, which she believes would be helpful for her daughter. She has very bad allergies and also I know uh, she has asthma. And she was uh, very, very sick. And the reason I'm very concerned is because I, this community is big. And why New Rochelle, White Plains, Port Chester, every place you have different place to go. Why not Mamarone have another have, And also you have the opportunity to have it this here at the school. Why not? Will the Mamarone School District move forward with a school-based health center? The only sure thing is that more debate is on the way.